welcome to episode 21 of On My Studio Table. In fact, there probably will only be a little bit of work shown on my table in this video. I wanted to share with you a few events which um, have happened or are coming up. One of them is a lovely wearable art exhibition which is held every year in Launceston in northern Tasmania. I'm going to enter the two items that are hanging on the cupboard behind me into this um, event. So I have my coat, which you have seen before, and also what I call a sleeveless coat. And I've made them both out of vintage blanket, which I've eco-printed. The grey one was actually made in Launceston at a historical mill called Waverley Mill. And uh, the piece of artwork that I'm sharing with you today and in previous videos was also made from wool from that mill. But the uh, blanket that the sleeveless coat was made from is actually vintage, so I believe it could be from the 1940s. The coat has been made from a vintage hospital blanket, and that was based on a challenge that I did in a group that Nicola Brown runs. Nicola Brown is an Irish eco dyer and printer, and she facilitates groups and workshops also online. And the challenge was to make a coat from a particular pattern. I adapted the pattern and made it uh, my own, but I did base it on the shape of the original pattern. The sleeveless coat, I didn't use a pattern at all. I just cut it freehand from a top uh, that I already had because I wanted to make sure that it would fit a larger size person. So both of these are larger sizes and it will be interesting to see um, how the models carry them off at the wearable event which is coming up in November. I'll share a bit more about that when the time comes. Another thing that's happening is that Art Trails Tasmania are hosting exhibitions all over the north of the state in five venues. One of the venues is at St Helens and the Seychelles Gallery will be hosting this one. 
I have four items in it. There are actually three entries because one is a triptych and I'm sharing a little bit about that with you in this video. You may have seen the work before uh, but the fact that they're going into this exhibition I thought made it worth sharing again. This art quilt features quite a few different layers. It has a wool background, which I needle felted because it had holes in it. Then I also needle felted some silk over the top, did lots of hand stitching and then eco printed it at the end. The back also features some eco printed fabric, linen this time, which had had a weak iron dip to bring out the leaves and so on onto the fabric. I also added a rod pocket to the top edge so that a dowel rod and screw eyes could be inserted for hanging. This piece I made to celebrate our 20th anniversary of Gone Rustic and uh, I held an exhibition with entries from all over Australia and internationally. This was my attempt to um, interpret the theme and I really enjoyed stitching with the papers on this one and it also has a feather and a used tea bag and even the tea bag strings as well as some stitching and some handwriting. I've also entered a triptych so there are three framed pieces. This one is number two and it features some of the paints that I've done made from the earth and from charcoal from the fire and it's also a class that I teach. On this one I also did some stenciling with the paints and some stitching and some collage. I'm also sharing my meditation cloth. I have added more to it and done quite a lot of stitching so I hope you enjoy what you see and I hope it inspires you also in your artistic practice. As you can see my meditation cloth has changed quite a lot. In the last video I shared some of the extra layers that I was putting on and they were mainly scraps from my scrap basket which I didn't alter very much. I used them mainly as they were and stitch them down with running stitch. But as you can see, I have now added some circles. They are all different sizes. The templates were just different lids and shaped round things that I had around me in my studio. I used fabrics again from my scrap basket, mainly eco printed or eco dyed, but you'll see that some of them have a kind of metallic look to them. And that's because I actually did some foiling on them and on one of them I did some silver pastel rubbing or oil stick rubbing. They were left over from another project. This is a wool circle which was also left over from another project which I found in my scrap basket. I've now been adding freeform blanket stitch which is one of my favourite things to do and I'm just going around some of the round shapes not completely but partially. Last but not least, I'm sharing a special exhibition that we attended on Saturday. You may remember I mentioned that I had a friend who was diagnosed with a terminal illness and that she had given me some of her eco-printed fabrics. I used some of these fabrics in my The Land Remembers art quilt. So that is a very special piece to me. And uh, sadly she has since passed away. But the wonderful thing was that we could celebrate her life and her artistic achievement at this exhibition. 
and the items were bequeathed by her before she passed away to the St Helens History Room and they are now in its permanent collection. So I don't know how long they will be on view but they certainly will be on view for a time so if you are in the area it's well worth having a look. And also the other exhibits at the History Room are really interesting and showcase local history. I'm sure you'll appreciate the beautiful earthiness and warmth of this exhibition. Beth was an amazingly talented artist. She was originally a potter and after she came to live in Tasmania, she found that uh, making pottery was a bit too hard physically to do uh, any longer. So she started to do things like basketry and eco printing on fabric. She also entered wearable art exhibitions I also hosted an exhibition of hers at my gallery and the work was just so beautiful and I had just started doing eco printing and dyeing when I hosted this exhibition and she really inspired me to uh, get into it more. What an inspiring artist she is. As you'll see she experimented with a lot of different techniques including handmade paper, stitch, using fabric just as it is, using fabric to make things, bookmaking and so on. So I'll just leave you to enjoy the rest of this exhibition. It is a visual feast.